If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey everybody, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard, and today we're going back into some ancient times. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, we're playing Ancient Dragons, and this is for V Premium. So we got some new support with Volume Collection uh, 6 we're on right now. Uh, with these two bad boys and another uh, ancient dragon. So ancient dragons are pretty much on some full-fledged support. Tachikaze is a very, very fun deck to kind of play around with. So if you're really, really hyped for dinosaurs, like I tend to be every now and then, you're probably going to really enjoy this deck because it's actually a lot of fun. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Starting off with the best V-series starter for Tachikaze, it's Minimum Carno. Just look at him, he's a fire-breathing Carnosaur, or Carnotaur. Oh man, I'm a fake dinosaur fan. It's like the same as all the other ones, you just draw a card, um, and then if your opponent's on grade one, you get a quick shield. So, best best Dino Boy right there. So going on to our grade threes, um, I'm only running two copies of Spino Driver Reverse. And I know this is a little weird just because I feel like whenever you have like your reverse ace unit, you usually run like three to four, but only running two. And that's because Spinal Reverse on his own, when you write it, kind of sucks. Like, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's a little bad by itself. But when you when you write it late game, it's great. It's just a really great card late game. So what it does is when it's placed on Vanguard Circle, you perform the following. Red text. You draw a card, you choose a card from your hand, you call it. And then you put the top, you may, correction, put the top card of your deck into the unit you called as an equip gauge and you do that one time. If you have Spino Driver in your soul, you can do it three times. Three. Like I said, you do it late game and you be at your draw, call, gauge, draw, call, gauge, draw, call, gauge. You just, you just build a board right then and there. Uh, and you kind of need a board for the second skill anyway. So what the second skill does is act if you have four more cards in your damage zone, you counter blast one, lock two rear guards with equip gauges. Until the end of the turn, you get the continuous skill of whenever you drive check a front trigger, all of your front row units with Ancient Dragon and its card name, they all get an extra critical. So it's a super aggro late game card. If you ride this first and you do the first skill, yeah, you get a draw on a unit, but the second skill you can only do when you're at four more damage. So it's, it's not really helpful there either. So at the end of the day, I think you have to kind of run this at two because if you see it early and it's the only grade three you can ride, you're kind of stuck. And this is just a super big late game push aggro card. So that's why we're running it at two. And going on to our next grade three, it's gonna be Spino Driver himself. Whoa. Well, a little teaser to the next grade three there. There it is, the fourth Spino Driver. So what it does is when it attacks on the Vanguard Circle or when it is rode upon, you can counter blast one, retire two of your rear guards, you get an additional imaginary gift excel because you get the one from when you ride. You draw a card, so that means you get excel two, draw, then draw again. Choose a card from your hand, call it to rear, two of your units get 5k. Second skill is when it's on the rear guard circle, when you re reveal a trigger during your drive check, you put the top card you deserve of your deck is a gauge into this unit. Gauges are nice, but most importantly, it's the fact that you ride this, you swing with it, you, you're getting another marker, you're getting another draw, you're making another attacking unit and, you know, giving a little bit of power, but, you know, making a board, especially in this deck, because it's all front focused, is really important. Spider Driver is just a great card. And also it works when you ride on top of it. So it works when you ride Tyranno Legend or when you dry, ride Spinal Driver Reverse. So that means you can do this, Counter Blast, or you can do this, sorry, do the, do the Spinal Reverse skill, make some board, then with the board you made, use sp regular Spinal Driver to retire said unit that you called from this skill to get another marker to call more thing. It's, it's just a really, really fun little wacky combo. And you know, the whole deck is, is Ancient Dragon Spinal Driver focus. So we got we gotta run the play set. And last but not least for our grade three lineup, Ancient Dragon Tyranno Legend himself. This card, no pun intended, is pretty legendary. 
When it's placed on Van, or when it's placed by the card ability of an Ancient Dragon onto a Rear Guard Circle, you can have this unit get 10k and an additional drive check. Then you may discard a card from your hand and choose a front trigger from your drop and put it on the top of your deck. So just right away, you know the front trigger is there. And the best part is you can just discard the front in your hand and just put it on the top of your deck. Second skill is Vander Rear at the end of the battle that attacked. You can't have last one, retire one of your rear guards and you can draw a card. It's a little, little nice little extra draw there. And the third skill is Rear. When you get a trigger during your drive check, you put the top of your deck into this unit as an equip gauge. So it's just like Spinal Driver. So it helps you get more gauges. Um, but the fact that you can ride this, get a free extra drive, and then you can kind of manipulate your deck a little bit just to get more front triggers is really, really dope. Uh, this also works with both of the spinal drivers because you're calling from hand through their effects. So it's the ability of an ancient dragon. So there's just a lot of really fun consistency with this deck. And Tyranno Legend is a little bit underrated in my opinion. This card can steal some games right underneath your opponent's nose without them really thinking about it. So that's it for the grade three lineup. We're going right into our grade twos. This deck is full on Ancient Dragon. So check this. We got Dino Crowd. Dino Crowd's skill is Van or Rear. When it attacks, you Soul Blast one, retire another rear guard. And at the end of the battle, it gets 10K, an additional 5K for each of this unit's equip gauges. The second skill is when you drive check a trigger, you put the talk of your deck into it as an gauge, so it's just like Spinal Driver and Tyranno Legend. Um, this is just kind of like an ancient dragon version of Mega Rex, but it's a little bit worse because it requires soul. And there's not really much soul building in this deck, if I'm quite honest, but we're doing it because it has the ancient dragon name and we want the Spinal Driver reverse skill of giving all of your ancient dragons in the front row an extra crit. So we want to kind of maximize the Ancient Dragons we're rolling with. Next up, another really, really good Ancient Dragon. Four copies of true Ancient Dragon, Alonaros. So what Alonaros does, he's kind of basically like a Gold Paladin. When he's placed on the van or rear from hand, you kind of blast one. You look at the top three cards of your deck, choose an Ancient Dragon, call it, put the rest in your bottom. It's quite literally Aglavale, but only from hand. Second skill is when you drive check a front trigger, this gets an extra crit. So we're just making fronts into crits, which is really cool. So this is your field builder. It also just has that effect to gain the crit. So it's also really nice. The whole deck is front trigger focused. So, you know, ancient dragons. Lastly, for our grade twos, I am running three copies of true ancient dragon, heft uh, styrico. Styrico's skill is when this is on an additional rear guard circle, it gets 5k and it cannot be retired by opponent's card effects, so that's nice. It's kind of just sitting there. And, excuse me, the second skill is when you drive check a front, gets an extra crit. Super aggro. The one thing that I will say is I'm not running any non-Ancient Dragon grade twos, even though I know they're really, really good, just because I want to kind of focus on keeping, like, the whole, like, being able to search top three, guarantee I get an Ancient Dragon because none of the triggers are Ancient Dragons. So there is a chance that I go with the effect with this. And I just want that extra crit for um, Spinal Driver Reverse. And I know there's only two copies, but down the line, the minute I see it, I'm riding it and I'm getting the, that effect off for those locks. So that's what we're running. All right, going on to our grade ones. This is also a new card from Volume Collection 6. It's Ancient Dragon Baby Rex. He, uh, he grew up from a grade zero and turned into a grade one. Uh, when this unit with an equip gauge is retired from rear by the ability of an ancient dragon, you Soul Blast one, bind this card face up, search your deck for a grade three card, and call to the rear guard circle. This is really nice just because the call target is obviously, just like with OG Baby Rex, Tyranno Legend. So it's being called by a card ability. Second skill is when you drive check reveals a trigger, you put the top card of your deck into a gauge for this unit. That way you're kind of like procking off the, the first effect because it needs to have a gauge when this retires for the search. But uh, it's nice because you can mid battle phase retire this or during the whole spinal driver setup retire this, 
call out Tyranno Legend, put a front trigger on top, and then if you do call another Tyranno Legend, you put another front trigger on top. So you're guaranteeing double fronts, which means double crits for a lot of these cards that gain crit uh, gain criticals every time you see a front trigger. So there's just a lot of really fun fun little plays you can do with this. All right. Going on to our next grade one, it is four copies of Iguana Gorg. So Iguana Gorg was an iconic uh, ancient dragon card from back in the day. Uh, very similar today in terms of what he does. So he's when this unit has an equipped gauge, you can reduce the cost of this effect by one counterblast. So his effect is counterblast one. Uh, when it's retired by a card ability, you can call it back to a regard circle, open regard circle as rest. So when it dies, you can kind of blast, call it back, or if this has a gauge, you just call it back for free. The second skill is when you get a drive, you just put a gauge on top onto this unit, so it's similar to Dino Crowd, Driver, Tyrant Legend. Um, but it's also an Ancient Dragon, but it's also the fact that you're gonna kill stuff, you can bring it back, kill more stuff, keep bringing it back. Consistency is there, and it also has the Ancient Dragon name. All right, and then last but not least for our grade one lineup, we're running four copies of True Ancient Dragon Tarot Reed. Am I reading that right? Terra Feed. I cannot read that right. So what Terra Feed does is when this unit's attack or the attack that it boosted hits a Vanguard, you look at the top seven cards of your deck, call an Ancient Dragon from among them to rear as rest and shuffle your deck. So this is your this is your ideal ride right here because you're gonna swing, you want it to hit, you wanna look at top seven, make a board. Majority of the deck is Ancient Dragon, so you're pretty much always gonna get this off. And the second skill, which is also really, really fun, is when you get a front, it gets an extra crit. So it's a great front row beater. A little, put it on the little Excel marker just so it uh, can hit, and um, it can get all those extra, extra crits on top of the fact that your full front row is getting double front effects all the time. So the idea is that you wanna have your front row full of like those Ancient Dragons that gain crits, like this one, and the Sky Tarot and um, Aloneros, on top of the fact that you could have Spinal Driver reverses effect to give them additional criticals, so you can just make a super aggressive turn with all these combinations. I'm not running Savage Shooter, and I know that there's gonna be like some comments about that because I know that you can just rest Savage Shooter, use its skill to put a gauge onto a rear guard, and then you put a gauge on a Savage Shooter. Or you can rest Savage Shooter, put a gauge on yourself, and then you can lock it with Spinal Driver Reverse. These are all true. And you can totally just like drop one of each of these and throw in Savage Shooter, that's fine. I just wanna stick with the consistency of having the Ancient Dragons because everything is like Ancient Dragon in its name, Ancient Dragon in its name, calling Ancient Dragon. So I wanted to max it out on the off chance that I wasn't able to proc off the effects. And Savage Shooter is a great, great, great card to run, but for the sake of consistency, and also for the sake of the fact that I wanted to make this deck as pure Ancient Dragon as I could, I'm keeping the grade one lineup like this. So we'll see how it goes. All right, now we're just gonna go and jump on to the triggers, starting off with our Heal Guardians. Tenacitops. Uh, when it's placed on the guard from hand, if you didn't write a grade three, you can do one of the following. 10K for the turn or reduce the crit of a battle by negative two. So, and that's just for that one battle, keep in mind. The second skill is when it's placed on rear from hand. If your damage zone has no cards in it, you can put the tucker in your deck in your damage zone just so you can have some stuff going on there. Um, but yeah, it's mostly, you can give your van plus 10, so it makes it harder for your opponent to kind of rush you while you're on your grade two turn. So heal, heal guardians are always great. And then we're running four Archbird draw triggers, um, mostly just because PGs are really, really good, um, but I also don't see an incentive to run Sentinel crits just because everything's just kind of getting crits in general. Um, and I feel like the one extra, like running that crit, it's like, eh, I could, could have just gotten the front and that would have done the job for me. Um, so we're doing draws because draw triggers on damage checks are great because it just means you plus for playing the game. So that's mostly why we're sticking with Arkberg and it's also a, a perfect card. You know, discard a card from your hand and the unit can't be hit for the whole battle. So, but then we, we're getting into the real spice, the, the front triggers, the vanilla front triggers. 
that give your whole front row crits thanks to spinal drive and reverse. We're going, we're going, we're going full eight front four draw four heal. That's how you place ancient dragons. All right. So that is it for the deck profile. Um, I actually really do want to get some games in with this because I know the premium version of this deck is not pure Ancient Dragon. So I kind of I do want to show this off because this deck is really fun, and um, that I could probably go through some updates in the future, and you guys might see that soon. So thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments what uh, changes you think I could possibly make or how you feel about sticking with the pure ancient dragon build versus you know throwing the savage shooters and like I said I know I know savage shooter is like one of the best grade one tachikaze cards ever made I'm just trying this out but in the future you might see some savage shooters in this grade one lineup just letting you know so yeah that's pretty much it for the deck profile thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye